Okay, for the axle, we could model it with the, all the dimensions that are here, but a much more efficient thing to do is to find the physical screw and import the model. So if you go to McMaster Car, just McMaster Car or McMaster.com, then it'll open up this web page. And there are tons of standard parts that can be loaded into modeling software. So there's never any reason not to worry about using washers, nuts, bolts. And any of these standard parts have models for them already created. So I am looking for a quarter 20 by one inch bolts and it should have a round um, hex socket on the head. So let's go to McMaster car and look up screws and bolts. And there's all kinds of bolts here. So we want a rounded head screw. And then we have options of hex drive or Phillips head or slotted. Of course, we just want a standard hex drive round head. And then we could start searching for the thread size. And we wanted a quarter 20, so let's narrow that down to quarter 20. We wanted one that was an inch long. And there's all the options that we have for quarter 20 threads an inch long. So the only thing that's different than the screw that we have here is this screw was not fully threaded. Uh, actually, there does not exist a normal part that's not fully threaded. So just pick one of these, whether you want a stainless steel brass or black oxide, it doesn't really matter if they'll all be the same. So pick whichever one you want. If you open up the part and look at the product detail, then we have the option to download the part as a SolidWorks part. So let's go ahead and click save and that will download that to your downloads folder. And SolidWorks is just a different man, um, modeling program, just like Onshape or Fusion. And then down at the bottom, where you have insert a new element, we have an option to import a file. So I'm going to go ahead and import my button head screw. Click open. Um, says create a composite part when importing multiple or non-solid bodies. You don't have to do that. You, you could do that, but it's not really, this is just a single part. It doesn't, it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna say, okay, and it uploads it. And then you see, you'll have a, this funky tab that's your imports, but then if you click on the button head screw, now you see we have the button head screw and we see it's in an imported file. Um, so it's now renamed this as a SolidWorks part. The only problem with this, this does not allow us to modify the imported part um, directly. Uh, we could make small edits to it if we wanted to. Um, but uh, as far as just importing the part, there we go, we've got it. Okay, so that's how you can import the axle uh, for the train.